uh, as far as in Jordan, an average, uh, I think it's uh, 30 women, a, an average of 30 women a year are killed in honor killings. Um, where is the justice in that? Well, I mean, there isn't any justice there. I don't, the, you know, the question is, it's, I, there's no justice. What, what, honor killings, what, what, well, how what does is Islam perceive killing? that? How can Islam Islam does, it has no concept of that. The Christian Arabs do that. Mexicans used to do that. Mm -hmm. But there are reports of another Muslim country. I mean, countries. this is, this is... There's reports of it in Pakistan. This yeah. used to happen all over the world. This, this happened in Christian countries. This is uh, just a, a situation that uh, exists, existed in many parts of the world. It doesn't justify it, but the fact that it still exists in that part of the world is only indicative of the fact that, uh, that familial honor is still an extremely important, if not a central element to those societies. And a woman's chastity is still considered something that is uh, at the essence of the honor of a family, as well as the chastity of a male, but because it, it tends to be a patriarchal culture and because of the fact that women, uh, when they lose their virginity, their physical, generally physical signs of it, and certainly pregnancy can occur, whereas with a man, a man is more veiled mm -hmm. uh, than a woman in that situation, but in no way does it mean that a, a, a man who commits fornication or adultery is any less condemnable than, uh, than a woman. Mm -hmm. They're both uh, uh, terrible breaches of, of divine uh, comportment, but I, I would say that uh, the Christians uh, have the same concept uh, in their ignorant societies. Arab Christians uh, have done this. So there was an Arab Christian that killed his daughter in Chicago. Uh, this occurred in the United States. It's a very sick thing to do. I find uh, somebody would have to be a really sick human being to be able to, to kill their own uh, progeny. progeny. But I in America, there's been over 20 million abortions. And the only difference in America is that they say, well, these are unborn. You know, so I think before Americans start pointing the finger yeah. uh, at uh, 30 honor killings in Jordan, let's look at 20 million uh, babies that have been killed in America. Yeah. Right? Really? Yeah. I mean, America is a very, it's a culture of amazing paradox. Uh, throughout uh, the planet, you will find very similar uh, pathologies manifested by human beings. Mm -hmm. And there are certainly Americas filled with very dysfunctional relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, women here are, are, are grossly abused. Uh, the, the number one cause of murder uh, amongst uh, women in the United States is from their husbands or their boyfriends. Uh, that, uh, I mean, you see this. So I, I don't think you can say Muslims have any monopoly on the mistreatment of women. Mm -hmm. I think globally we have a problem. Uh, the, the problem in Islam occurs when Muslims do not adhere to the traditions of Islam, to the teachings of Islam, and, 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 and vice versa. Uh, when, when they do adhere, you will see, in fact, extraordinary harmony occur in the human relationships because very clear guidelines have been given in terms of gender relationships. So you're saying that Muslims have themselves to blame in I, a way that... First and foremost.